In today's video, we're going to be using Python to have another look at if statements. We're going to get a little bit more advanced than we did in the previous lesson. In today's um, app, what we're going to be making is basically movie ratings. We're looking at how old you need to be to watch certain movies. Okay, so in Australia, obviously, if you're under 15, you're restricted to what movies uh, you're allowed to watch at the cinema. Uh, if you're over 18 you can watch all sorts of movies if you're between 15 and 18 you're restricted to certain movies as well okay and this app is going to tell you what movies you're allowed to watch all right so you need to enter in your age you can see the computer here asking for your age so let's start young let's type in 12 years old okay it says you can only see g-rated and pg rated movies that's fair enough okay let's run that app again this time let's get a little bit older Okay, let's say we're 16 years old. It says you can see an MA rated movie. Okay, so a little bit older now, so we can see another category. And there's one more to go though, so let's run that one more time. If we enter our age, let's say that we're 25 years old. Press enter, you can see an R rated movie. Okay, so they're the three different options that we're going to be working with today. Alright, so let's get started. We'll pop over to Python and make a new file. So make sure you've got a blank screen up. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask um, our users a question. Okay, so remember we use the reserved word input, and in brackets, we're just simply going to write, please enter your age. Close your quotation marks and your brackets. That's going to ask a question on the screen for the user to enter their age. Now, the computer will completely forget what their age is unless we store it inside of a variable. Okay, remember a variable is like just a bucket that stores information in it. So let's call this variable age and we'll write equals. So that's our variable right there called age. And inside of that bucket of information, we're going to store whatever the user's age is, whatever they type in. Okay, the other issue here that we're going to have is you might remember this from previous tutorials. When users input something, Python thinks it's a string of characters or a string of letters, basically. What we need to do is make sure that Python thinks that it's an integer. Okay, so before the word input, I want you to write the word int, open up a bracket, and then at the very end, close a bracket. Okay, so now when the user types in their age, the computer will know that it's an integer or a whole number. Okay, so let's go down a couple of lines now and start our if statement. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work out if they can watch R-rated movies. Okay, so we're going to write in if age. Now you need to be older than 17 years. So you need to be basically 18 years and above. Okay, so I'm going to write in if age is greater than 17 and then do a colon. So that's going to check the age variable. And if the user typed in a number that's bigger than 17, so that's 18 and onwards, then we're going to print in quotation marks there, you can watch an R-rated movie. And you can close off your quotation marks and your brackets. That's the first part of our if statement done. Now there's two sections to come. If they're between the ages of 14 and 18, then they can see an M rated, MA rated movie, sorry. Okay, it basically means they're older than 15. And finally, there's also an option there if they're younger than 15, then they can only see G and PG rated movies. Alright, so we're going to use a new keyword here called ELIF. ELIF is basically a mix of the word if and else. Okay, so basically says else if age is less than 18 and age is greater than 14 okay so this is just another if statement basically so if the age is less than 18 but greater than 14 then we're going to print you can watch an MA rated movie okay that condition there basically says that they're between 15 and 17 years old okay anything less than 18 but still above 14 years old okay so it's 15 onwards 
All right, and the last thing I'm going to do is we're going to simply write the word else. So we've only got one other option here, else. We do a colon. And on the next line, we simply write the word print. You can only see a G or PG rated movie. And close off the quotation marks and the brackets. Okay, so let's break this down one last time, and then we'll go and run it and test it. Okay, so at the top we've got a variable called age. When the user enters their age in, okay, you see the input, enter your age, that value is going to be stored in the age variable. And remember, it's been converted to an integer. Okay, so it has to be a number. Now, if the age is greater than 17, so that means if they're 18 and older, then we're just going to tell them. We're going to print on the screen. You can watch an R-rated movie. Okay, now else if... So we've got another condition here that we're going to run. If the age is less than 18 and the age is greater than 14. Okay, so that's in between 15 and 17 years old. Then we're going to print that they can watch an MA rated movie. And finally, what else do we do? If they don't meet any of these criteria up here, then they must be less than 15 years old. So we're going to say you can only see a G or PG rated movie. All right, I hope that makes sense. Okay, we're just going to save that up first of all. Okay, you can just call it movie ratings or something like that. And when you've saved it, go up to run and run that module. Let's see if it works. So let's enter our age. Again, start young. Let's go with 10. So far, so good. They can only see G or PG rated movies. Run it a second time. Enter your age this time. Let's go 15. All right, now we're old enough. We can see an MA rated movie. And finally, let's see if a 19-year-old can watch an R-rated movie. Yes, they can. Perfect. Okay, so our little app's working. Let's close that off. That's our code there. If you wanted to throw some comments in, feel free. Um, that's all I'm going to show you in this video.